Right, my people welcome back on to this nigeria has not issued an extradition warrant for activist sunday Igoho, who have been in jail in neighboring benin since july lawyers said on saturday all right on today's sunday Igoho, who pursues for independence for the southwestern Yoruba people was arrested in Benin while trying to flee to Germany. What we feared at the start was an extradition request, but there is no such demand, said Ibrahim David Salami, a lawyer for Iboho. On this, Benin charged the activist with associating with criminals. The fact that he is being investigated for a violation that would have been committed on Benin's territory is a order to an extradition request, as this case will first have to be sorted out, Salami said. He is safer in Benin. He is not at all safe. In Nigeria, sending him to Nigeria means certain deaths. Meanwhile, Nigerian security official fought an hour-long gun battle during a raid on Igboho's home in early July, later saying he had escaped. They said they found weapons and then arrested 12 men and one woman. Police said at the time the finds were confirmation of a grand plan by Igboho and his cohorts to wage a violent insurrection against the Nigerian state. Salami said Igboho had been wounded and then was flying abroad for treatment when he was arrested. Nigeria, a country of 210 million people, is frequently shaking along ethnic fault lines, the largest among its more than 200 ethnic groups are the Hausa Fulani in the north, the Igbo in the southeast, and the Yoruba in the southwest. All right, my people. Well, this is what had been gathered so far. Well, House of Lani are the smallest in Nigeria and they, they lie so much. Yorubas are the largest groups in Nigeria. All right, this has been said by Update 365. Well, my people, this is what it is. Until this Nigeria Sunday, Igboho had been held in Benin not facing extradition and then this had been said by one of his lawyer talking about lawyer salami well sonic boho had been you know a man who a lot of people most especially the you know southwesterners have you no know, raised his praises and then they have been of the opinion that hmm, Sunday Igbo, the good Lord, will continue to you know, uphold you. you know, we've had a lot of prayers concerning this man. And then as it starts right now, majority of things are actually being said. Some people are of the opinion that hmm, how long is he going to remain in the main you know, custody? And then some have been of the opinion that, well, it's better to Sunday Igbo who remains in that place than to you no know, bring him back to Nigeria though it has been stated by the you no know, by the court court of law that he can now walk freely that nobody should arrest him <laughs> it's a very serious one that nobody should arrest him that he is free to walk freely and all over the you know the zone all over the town but the truth of the matter has been that Steve Sunday Boho, if we take a very good look at you know, why he's still in that detention, we will not see any tangible reason to say, okay, this is why he's still in that place. And that's why majority of people have been like, hmm, this country is not being fair at all. Hmm. At all, at all, the country is not being fair because we see no reason why Chief Sunday Boho will still be in the custody 
of the police till now well a lot of people have said that well fine it is good that no he's not been extradited to nigeria but at least he had overstayed in that place release this man if he's not coming to nigeria we have heard that oh, you people have tried your best that you don't want him to come to nigeria then allow him to fly back to germany let him go to germany let him take care of himself of recent of recent of late we overheard that oh, he is no not being allowed to take a proper education and uh, which is you no know, affecting him seriously and the majority of people have been like what exactly is the problem of this the nice republic we don't understand why they are still keeping chief sunday go we all know that he is you no know, a freedom fighter and uh, he has committed no offense then why is it that he's still in that detention and uh, that has been a lot of things so far and a majority of people onto this have been like asking different kind of question that why is it that chief sunday Igbo is still in that prison you people should allow this man to go and they face a better life ah ah waiting self waiting they happen a lot of no, people have actually you no know, said a lot of things about that and uh, it's so bad that the you know the federal government in its own part i've been I, will, I don't know what how else i'm going to narrate or put this or make you not know, describe this issue the country itself have never have not been fair to the people let's use it in that manner it has not been fair because this set of people are the ones trying to make sure things you know, work out for good but the reverse had been the case in fact eh, the regime the present regime prefers to you know support bandits hmm, than supporting freedom fighters and this is what we have seen so far many things have gone wrong in the country simply because some you no know, region had just you know for themselves of which had made this set of people to say no let us go our separate ways since you are not ready for us you don't you, you are not ready to take care of us then let us go our separate ways we can you no know, take care of ourselves and that has been the issue can you imagine look at the state to which the federal government has put a man who has sacrificed himself to make sure people smile it's so bad it's unfair it's uncalled for but the good luck continue to help us all right so my people and then that has been neat on this one what more can we say meanwhile let me have your take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks always